Hypernatremia is a critical electrolyte imbalance characterized by an elevated concentration of sodium in the blood. Specifically, it is defined as a serum sodium level exceeding 145 millimoles per liter. As healthcare professionals, understanding this condition is crucial as it can be a marker of severe underlying health issues and requires careful management. Hypernatremia's significance lies not just in the imbalance itself, but in its potential to reveal complex physiological disturbances that demand our clinical acumen and prompt intervention. Causes and classifications. Hypernatremia can result from various physiological disruptions, typically categorized based on the patient's fluid status. Low volume hypernatremia occurs when there's a net loss of water, often seen in cases of excessive sweating, vomiting, diarrhea, or as a side effect of diuretic medications. Kidney disease can also lead to this type, as the organs fail to conserve water effectively. Normal volume hypernatremia is often associated with conditions that increase water loss or decrease intake, such as hypodipsia, adipsia, lack of access to water, diabetes insipidus, or as a side effect of certain medications like lithium. High volume hypernatremia, while less common, can result from conditions like hyperaldosteronism, excessive administration of sodium-rich intravenous fluids, or rarely from extreme salt consumption. Understanding these classifications is key to identifying the root cause and determining the most appropriate treatment strategy. Symptoms. The symptomatology of hypernatremia often progresses from subtle to severe as sodium levels rise. Initially, patients may experience excessive thirst, weakness, nausea, and loss of appetite. These symptoms can be easily overlooked or attributed to other conditions, highlighting the importance of clinical vigilance. As the condition advances, more concerning symptoms emerge, including confusion, irritability, and muscle twitching. These neurological symptoms reflect the impact of electrolyte imbalance on cellular function, particularly in nerve cells. In severe cases, where sodium levels exceed 160 millimoles per liter, seizures, brain hemorrhage, and coma may occur, potentially leading to life-threatening complications. The progression of symptoms underscores the critical nature of early detection and intervention in managing hypernatremia. Diagnosis. Diagnosing hypernatremia involves a multifaceted approach. The cornerstone is a serum sodium level exceeding 145 millimoles per liter, typically identified through a basic metabolic panel. However, the diagnosis doesn't end with a single lab value. A comprehensive patient history is crucial, delving into factors such as recent illnesses, medication changes, and fluid intake patterns. The physical examination plays a vital role, particularly in assessing the patient's volume status. Signs of dehydration, such as decreased skin turgor or dry mucous membranes, can provide valuable clues. Urine analysis, including osmolality and sodium levels, offers insights into the kidney's role in the electrolyte imbalance and can help differentiate between various types of diabetes insipidus. This thorough diagnostic approach ensures a clear understanding of the underlying cause, guiding targeted and effective treatment strategies. Treatment. The primary goal in treating hypernatremia is to safely restore the body's water balance. This process requires careful management to avoid complications associated with rapid correction. The preferred method, when feasible, is oral free water intake. For patients unable to take fluids orally, intravenous administration of hypotonic fluids, such as dextro solutions, is employed. It's crucial to note that pure water should never be administered intravenously due to the risk of hemolysis. The rate of correction is a critical factor in treatment. For acute hypernatremia, onset within 48 hours, a correction rate of one milliequivalents per liter per hour is generally recommended. In chronic cases, a more conservative approach is necessary, with correction rates not exceeding 0.5 milliequivalents per liter per hour or 10 to 12 milliequivalents per 24 hours. This cautious approach is essential to prevent cerebral edema, a potentially life-threatening complication of overly rapid correction. Throughout the treatment, 
Frequent monitoring of serum sodium levels and careful adjustment of fluid administration are necessary to ensure safe and effective correction. Special considerations. Certain patient populations require specific attention in the context of hypernatremia. Infants are particularly vulnerable, often developing hypernatremia due to improperly mixed formula or limited access to free water. In these cases, parent education on proper formula preparation is crucial. Elderly patients present another high-risk group. Their decreased thirst response and often reduced access to fluids make them more susceptible to developing hypernatremia. Regular monitoring and proactive hydration strategies are essential in their care. Patients with impaired mental status pose a unique challenge. Their inability to effectively communicate thirst or independently seek fluids puts them at increased risk. For these patients, careful monitoring of fluid intake and output, along with regular electrolyte checks, is crucial to prevent and quickly address hypernatremia. Complications Untreated or improperly managed hypernatremia can lead to severe complications. Cerebral edema, paradoxically, is a risk of overly rapid correction rather than the hypernatremia itself. As sodium levels decrease too quickly, water can shift into brain cells, causing swelling and potentially devastating neurological outcomes. Central pontine myelinolysis while more commonly associated with rapid correction of hyponatremia, can also occur in hypernatremia treatment. This condition involves the destruction of myelin sheaths in the brainstem, leading to various neurological deficits. Seizures may occur as a result of the electrolyte imbalance disrupting normal neuronal function. In the most severe cases, hypernatremia can progress to coma, underscoring the critical nature of this electrolyte disturbance. Prevention. Preventing hypernatremia is a key aspect of patient care, particularly for high-risk populations. Encouraging adequate fluid intake is fundamental, especially for elderly patients and those with impaired thirst mechanisms. In infant care, proper education on formula preparation is essential to prevent inadvertent sodium overload. For patients at high risk, such as those with diabetes insipidus or receiving hypertonic solutions, close monitoring is crucial. This includes regular tracking of fluid intake and output, as well as frequent checks of serum sodium levels. By maintaining vigilance and implementing preventive strategies, healthcare providers can significantly reduce the incidence of hypernatremia and its associated complications. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.